Now, my friends, let's get on with I've Got a Secret. I would like to greet our first contestant. Would you come in, please? What is your name? Matilda. Donald Dulac. And where are you from, Donald Dulac? He's from Levittown, Maine. It is, uh, Lewiston, Lewiston, Maine. It, 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 is, it escapes his notice at the moment. All right, now, Donald, will you go and... Um, oh, you want me a secret, too? Gee, you're so technical tonight. All right, whisper your secret to me, son. Good for you. All right, you go stand right down there. Now let's greet his brother. Here is Richard. Hiya, Dick. <laughs> Dick, what's your secret? Whisper it to me. <laughs> Good boy, go stand next to your brother. Now both of these young men are fortunate to have a lovely little sister whose name is Diane. Hello, Diane. How are you? Hi. Your secret, please. <laughs> oh, all right, go stand next to the boys. And getting back to the men again, here is Jean. Hello, Jean. Hi. Jean, what's your secret? <laughs> Things are beginning to take on a pattern. All right, go stand next to Diane as we welcome his brother, Albert. Hello, Albert. How are you? Now, Albert, what's the word? I don't think so. That figures. Go stand down there next to the rest of your family. Another brother, Wilfred. Hi, right, Wilfred. How are you? Flip me a secret. And now, Raymond. Hi, Raymond. How are you? It's getting monotonous, isn't it? And one more. Here's Norman. Hi, Norman. How are you? Eight members of the Dulac family. We'll start the, the. We'll try to answer right up the scale here. Let's start with uh, with Henry, please. No, uh, I'd like. Oh, ask him. Yeah. Uh, you're Donald. Donald. Donald is Norman your father? <laughs> can, can you say no? Don't not yes. No. 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 These children are of French extraction. They speak French. They speak English too. All right. Now let's go to Richard here. Uh. Richard, <laughs> were you born in the United States? Richard, were you born in the United States? Yeah. Yeah. All right, there's $20 down, $60 to go, and so we go to Betsy Palmer, and this is Diane. Diane, uh, does this secret include all eight of you? No. No? We. 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 O-U-I, we. Oh, I, we. <laughs> yes. Do you speak French fluently, Diane? We. We. That's good. Uh, Forty dollars down, forty dollars to go, and I'm beginning to run out of memory over here. Is Jean? Here's Jean, and so uh, Bill Cullen is on for the question. We didn't get a thing, Gary. Like it's something they did, or something they are, or something you know, something like you know that little hint you usually it's, give. It's us. just something that they have in common. It's a oh. secret they share. Uh, and whom? Uh, to whom am I? Uh, Jean. Uh, Jean, this thing that you have in common does it have to do with where you were born? Is your secret about where you were born? No. Is nope. No. Nope. N o p e. Nope. Does it have to, anything to do uh, about the day on which you were born? Is this no. to do with your birthday? No. Albert says no. Albert? Albert. All right, $60 down, $20 to go, and we are up to Wilfred. So, uh, Monique Van Voren, please. Wilfred, does the fact that you are all related to one another has anything to do with your secret, rather than you are all together sharing a secret? Yes. Is it something that you are going to do all together? No. Something you are going to do all together. Uh, I would have to say yes. It is a it is a, a group movement. Yeah. Will it involve a trip of any kind? A trip will it involve yeah. a journey anywhere. No. Uh, now these brothers and one sister, Julak, attend a school in Lewiston, the name of which is Holy Family. Holy Family. There are eight grades in the school. One yeah. through eight. In each grade, there is a Julak. First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's it. Is, this the family, is this the family that have more children still at home so they will still be able to go through the eight grades? Are there, are there more at home? Three more, but they won't uh, follow like that. Oh, there's a, there's a time gap. Yeah, there's a, one difference between my younger brother. 
Oh, I see. Well, the family took a year off uh. somewhere. <laughs> and I must say she's entitled. Let's uh, meet this delightful lady. Here is the mother of the Dulacs, Mrs. Dulac. How are you? Mrs. Duack, I have only two children. I cannot imagine what the house must look like early in the morning when you're getting eight kids off to school. You don't, uh, you can't possibly dress them all. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, she can, uh, I'll dress uh, her. Herself. They help each other? Yes. Huh? Everybody dress, helps dress each other all the way down the line. Now, I, I can imagine in any family of this size, having, getting clothes for them would be a problem. Does, do they have hand-me-downs? Yes. Huh? You wore his clothes? He wore his clothes. You have any? Let's get down here. Let's get down here to about the middle. <laughs> have, have you any, any clothes that he didn't wear? Or do you always get his? Oh. Always. How'd you like to have some of your own? <laughs> Never been worn. No, his clothes don't fit. I, that's mine after. When his clothes don't fit, then it's yours. <laughs> All right, well, tonight, Mrs. Dulac, we thought that we would start you out afresh. Gentlemen, you want to fly that in? A small token of our esteem. There's the... <laughs> All in proper sizes, a couple of outfits for everybody. Okay, fellas? Okay. All right, fine. Mrs. Dulac, it's a great joy having you with Good us in regards to your husband. Right on. Good night, kids. <laughs>